All right, here's another video on Kraken Robotics. I shot one yesterday, but there was something wrong with the sound and people were complaining about it. So here you go. I actually have a really good mic, but the problem was the editing software cap cut. So the prior video I posted was at $4 and Kraken had another really good day and now it's at $4.30. So up another 7.5% almost. So I'm up like 400 and something percent on this. It's a great stock. And for those of you complaining about the quality of the sound on the previous video, if you focused on the content instead of the sound and bought when I posted the first video, you'd be doing pretty well. But don't buy anything because I tell you to, because I'm not telling you to. I'm just walking through my process of how I analyze stocks. And you need to do your own research because this is not investment advice. So just your own work into it and if you have questions just put them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer. So the good about this company which everyone talks about is that they make the batteries for Anduril on their sea drone program. So everyone is talking about drones in the sky and how effective they were in Ukraine. There's not a lot of people focusing on the sea stuff which is probably where you're gonna have great results because if a ship is on the water, there's nowhere to hide. And these batteries last 20 to 30% longer on a charge than their competitors. And why is that? Because under the sea, there's incredible pressure and it will crush most batteries. So their competitors encase their batteries in titanium, but that titanium takes up space. So more protection like a phone case means less room for the battery. And what Kraken does is they have technology where it's liquid and liquids don't compress which is why your hydraulic brakes have liquid in them and so it's very good for undersea applications because the deeper you go the more pressure there is and if liquid doesn't compress these are these are great batteries and the uh, Australian Navy just signed a billion dollar contract with Anduril and the US is building hundreds of drones through Anduril and if Kraken Robotics keep supplying the batteries, then it will be great for them. However, unlike other people who just pump up the stocks, I'll give you both sides. So that's some of the pluses. These guys are definitely best in class. The batteries have a 50% markup. There's a billion dollar contract with Australia and Anduril, a contract for hundreds of drones between Anduril and the US Navy. And each of those drones that Anduril is making will take about $2 million worth of batteries. That's all great, 100%, but I'm not trying to pump it like these other websites. I'm not trying to pump it like these other channels. I will tell you both sides of it. So what's the negative? One is that Kraken does not have a patent on these batteries. People think they do, but they don't. They're just better at making it than other people. The second is that this is very profitable, so that could invite competitors and the other people making these batteries seem committed to just wrapping them in titanium, which is easier because you use existing technology, which is very easy, instead of this process that Kraken uses, which they don't have a patent on, but which they have a top-notch process. And Kraken also has best-in-class imaging, which has applications not only for military, but for uh, off-sea drilling and telecom. So there's some diversification there. So what are the negatives? These batteries have 50% margin, so if Anduril is buying hundreds of millions of dollars from them, they might decide to try to make it on their own or to look into competitors. If competitors see that this is so profitable that they want to get into the game and maybe they can sort of reverse engineer their production process and start to compete with them because when you make a lot of profit, you invite competitors. Another potential drawback is the dilution. So Kraken is kind of unpredictable in that the conference call will announce that they have all the cash they need, everything's great, then they will borrow money or uh, announce that they're issuing more shares. So if you look at the dilution, you know, uh, they're issuing more shares. And if you're a shareholder and a company is buying back shares and the share count is going down, that's generally good for you. And if a company is growing a lot, but they're issuing more shares, that can be bad for you because you're getting a smaller and smaller piece of the pie. So 
Uh, if they're growing faster than they issue shares, you'll still come out ahead, but there's no guarantees. The other potential drawback is the price. So when I first bought into this, it was a little pricey. I think it was like 40 times earnings, but then the price stayed where it was and it got down to like 20 times earnings, but it was growing at 50% a year. So that seemed like a great deal to me, but now it's at 86 times earnings. And if it's still growing a lot, you can still make money on it, but a lot of that growth is sort of priced in there along with the hype. There's speculation that Anduril might uh, buy them out, which I don't think will happen because uh, Anduril does not, with their acquisitions, tend to want to be vertically integrated and control the whole supply chain. When they've made acquisitions, it's sort of been something lateral where they wanted to get involved in something and they didn't have the existing tech. They will buy a company, but they won't buy their suppliers to control the whole thing vertically. So I don't think Anduril will buy them, but as I said, uh, 86 times earnings is pretty rich. Uh, drones are hot right now, so most of the drone companies are very pricey right now. And um, if you can buy something that's drone adjacent, like Kraken Robotics, it might not be noticed and you might do well. And there's another one called Taylor Devices, which I also did a a video on and I'm not currently holding this but uh, if you look at this this is at 16 times earnings and nothing about the name would suggest drones but uh, this company has kind of two lines one is the um, things that look like giant shock absorbers for buildings and they help with uh, prevent earthquakes and the other half of the company makes landing gear for predator and reaper drones uh, and it's pretty profitable and this is trading at a pretty low multiple and it has a ton of cash on the balance sheet. So if you back out the cash, about 30% of the market price is cash. And I used to own it. I got a double on this. Um, I don't currently own it. And honestly, it's drone department is still doing well, but the other half is struggling because of tariffs. So um, why buy half a good business when you can buy a whole good business? Uh, but you know, this might be one you want to take a look at. So anyway, back to Kraken. The other problem is the valuation. So it is at 86 times earnings and people who pump this are saying like, well, you know, they got the billion dollar contract, with the Navy in Australia and with the US Pentagon. Uh, but Kraken doesn't have that contract. Anduril does, as I said. And if Anduril continues to buy from Kraken, it'll be fine. Uh, if they choose a different supplier, it won't be fine. And there's not a lot of people looking at this, even though it's a billion dollar company now, because uh, a year ago it was a $200 million company. But here's an analyst that is looking at it, Cormark. And they estimated recently that in 2027, their earnings are going to be 23 to 26 cents in 2027. So if it's 23 to 26 cents a share by 2027, and then you give that a multiple of, uh, I don't know, 20, right? So it'll be all right. At a multiple of 20, you're still over $5, and it's four something today, right? If it's at a higher multiple, like 40, you get you to $10, so that's another double by 2027. But there's no guarantee that drone stocks will still be hot in a couple of years. A lot of the hype around drone stocks now is because of their success on the battlefield in Ukraine and the possible applications of it to protect Taiwan from China or other countries from China or from the uh, companies like, sorry, countries like Israel restocking because they're fighting wars and losing drones and they need to buy more uh, or the U.S. military beefing up. But um, as I said, if this instrument pans out at 20 times earnings, you got like 520 at uh 40 times earnings, $10, and it's 430 now. So there's still upside, but a lot of the optimism is priced in. So this isn't a recommendation to buy or sell, just me walking through my process. But you know, if this is something that interests you, uh, you should go in with your eyes open. And if this is an area that you like, then there are things adjacent to it, like tailored devices that you should also take a look at and see where you're getting the most bang for your buck. No pun intended. So uh, good luck out there. And if you have any questions on this, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it. 
and like and subscribe so you'll see future videos like this.